Hello, everyone. I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end, and I'm here with Slate TV on the pole season two red carpet in New York City. All right, so everyone's making their way around the carpet. I'm really excited. Everyone's walking in, storming in, striking poses right over there in front of press. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. Stick with us because we are live, girl. Oh, grrr. Now, I have my phone in my hand because we're going to be answering your questions. So is whenever you join this live, feel free to ask as many questions as you want. I'm going to do my very, very, very best to make sure that we answer them for you. So if you're ready, set, let's strike a pose. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm going to share this everywhere. That's the point. And we are sharing on Instagram. We're sharing everywhere we're doing it all righty and that's done all right you all we're on the carpet i'm excited so we have angel who plays little poppy on the show making their way down dominique jackson is making her way down she looks oh so elegant stunning opulent she owns everything including me on this red carpet i'm so ready to start angelica ross is here again we're just waiting on everybody to make their way on down and we're doing it it's beautiful. Last year we had a pink carpet. This year we have a black glitter carpet. So that's really cute, really fun. Uh, they always say when you're gay, gay is the glitter that never goes away. So this is very, very, very fitting. Very fitting. <laughs> and then I was about to say, whenever you want to see the camera, they're making their way around. Yes, got a struck little pose for them. Get into the look for the night. Earrings, necklace, gown, keeping it very simple. Very, very, very simple tonight. Yes, I'm really excited. This year we're inside. Last year we were outside. So that's a bit of an a environmental change. It's supposed to rain outside, but it won't stop us in here. So that's the really, really good part about it. Oh, she looks amazing. Sandra Bernhardt is making her way down the runway in a beautiful gold, silver, and black pattern dress. I can't wait to talk to her. I'm so excited. Her shoes are stunning. Her shoes match the carpet, everyone. They're like glitter on the carpet, glitter on her shoes. It looks like she's walking and literally leaving a trail of glitter. This is amazing. This is Slayful. This is Slay TV. Oh, cool. I almost said, oh, cool. we're not doing those tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Oh, I'm so excited, everyone. Ah, I hope you're excited. Don't forget, ask your questions. I'm going to do my best to answer them. Everything's going to move really, really, really fast. We're live here. You all know what's going on. It's Slay TV, and I'm Eddie. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Everyone is here. It's all getting started. The show is going to commence. It's going to be great grand it's gonna be everything i can't wait as soon as they get down here like my voice is gonna go from zero to 100 everybody's gonna give what yes yes that is what's happening <laughs> that is definitely what's happening let me know if you like today's look in the comments i always love a little validation you know you know let your girl know <laughs> the wig is slipping <laughs> let me know let me know yes Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Also, feel free. Comment your favorite character on the show. You have the power to talk to them the same way I do, so make sure you're asking questions. Yes. You all get to see the real behind the scenes of what it takes to be on the red carpet. It's a lot of work when you have to answer everybody's questions, just making your way down the line. Uh, so exciting. So exciting. Also, Happy Pride, everybody. This isn't happening at a better time. Like, it could not be happening at a better time. Seriously. Seriously. It's Pride Month. It's World Pride. We're in the middle of the city. We're right outside of Central Park, right, everyone? Thank you, Erlene. I really appreciate that. I have a high slit of my dress just for you. <laughs> yes. Gave me a little shoe cam. All righty, everyone. The lights aren't that hot, and that's surprising. Fun fact. <laughs> Fun fact. I want to know your favorite characters on the show. Let me know now. That way I can make sure we give you a special shout-out. 
some special, some special, you know, some slight. <laughs> <coughs> Yes, yes, yes. Ah, I'm so excited. Sandra is two people away from us. We're getting ready to start, everyone. It's like giving a sickening countdown. Sickening countdown. I'm like looking into this red dot, and I'm not looking into the camera. You guys are probably like, what is going on? A lot. A lot. <laughs> so excited. I can't say it again. Yes, I can. I'm so excited. Right. Yes. Oh, this dress is stunning, and the shoes, and the dress, and everything literally collaborates and coincides perfectly together. She's slaying the game tonight. She's slaying the game tonight. She is slaying the game tonight. <laughs> yes. Oh, everything is so amazing. Everything is so grand right now. It's pride, y'all. Dominique's right over there. She's coming over to Slay TV really soon. She's coming to talk to me and you. <laughs> yes, Angelica Ross has her hair pulled back. <laughs> yes, honey, I am so ready. She looks like a princess. Oh my God. It is, a, it is okay, so it's a tool skirt. I just got into it. From the back, straight up princess. From the front, sex down. It is a full cat suit, a tool skirt, like the arms, the body, the hair, the face, the jewelry. It's a moment. It's a look. I can't wait till she gets down here. It's going to be amazing. And she's wearing a pullback ponytail, which screams elegance. So I cannot wait. I want to know the inspiration from this look. Oh, my goodness. Moxie, I'm gagging too, girl. It is everything here tonight. Oh, my goodness. I'm happy everyone is here with Slay TV. Continue watching. We're going to start our interviews in, like, three, two, one. Really, really, really soon. Really soon. <laughs> yes, God. Yes, yes. Yes, you all. The red carpet has begun. Mm, so excited. Getting a little anxious. I'm ready for them to get here so that they can slay with us. <laughs> I'm excited. Yes. Yes, God. Let's get it started category is pose. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, please. Yes, yes, that's how it works. They're like, do you want to talk? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do, with you. Thank you. Because we're live. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zeus. Thank you so much, Winstina. Remember, type your questions in the comments. I'm going to do my best to answer them. Everything's going to move really fast, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> I promise. Hello, how are you? I am here with Sandra Bernhardt. How are you this evening? I'm, well, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so happy to have you here. First of all, you look amazing. I've already told everyone on live what you're wearing tonight. Can you please tell me who was addressed by? What was your inspiration? It is... Jabolje, I think it's called. It's a new, a fairly new designer. She is turning it out. And my stylist, Scott Algauer, is over there. He picked out the dress for me. But he know we, we work together, we collaborate, as I've been doing with many people, from Andre Leon Talley to Isaac Mizrahi. You know, I won't drop too many names, but you know, I can. Well, you look stunning. So you play Nurse Judy on the show. How important is it to have a nurse's perspective and the hospital's perspective during the AIDS and HIV epidemic in the 80s and 90s? Well, without our healthcare workers, you know, really sacrificing, because back then nobody knew 
if they were going to contract AIDS or not. You know, they were in the trenches. People were dying. They were bleeding. They were, you know, sh freaking out, you know, and they were there to hold down the fort. And Nurse Judy is there for for prey for Blanca as fr as a friend as a as a mentor mm -hmm. and also getting everybody you know involved in act up because at, at the time without our activism as today we would be lost how would you say in today's time we can help each other and help everyone that is impacted by the HIV and AIDS virus how can we help be activists take our actions off of social media and put them into the real world and really help out people well, first of all, people, young people have got to understand that they've got to protect themselves. They've got to follow, you know, smart health regimen because there is no reason in today's world to, to contract AIDS. So we got to take care of ourselves. But in terms of internationally, of, of countries that can't necessarily afford or have access, you know, all of the big, you know, Amfar, all of the, co the the people that are raising money need to get it to those people, and we just need to keep, you know, doing our research and finding a cure. I mean, I just I'm hoping along with cancer that AIDS is on the verge of a cure. Now, a bit on the brighter side, what are you most excited to be here tonight? What are you most excited about? Well, I mean, it's incredible to be celebrating with all my co-stars and the people who really embrace me and op so open. Everybody's amazing. From, from MJ to Billy to Angel to Dominique to, you know, everybody's just incredible to work with. The directors are all amazing, a lot of women directors. I mean, Ryan Murphy really puts his money where his mouth is, and he employs trans people, women, people of color, and it's just been a, a fantastic experience. So it's just great to be here tonight to celebrate together. Now, last question. Sandra, you look stunning. Will we get to see Nurse Judy's sense of fashion outside of the hospital this season at all? Yes, you will. You will. That is so exciting. Yes, you will, and I cannot tell you how or why, but in one episode, everybody is going to be really delighted. And I'll leave it at that. I'm, ex Thanks, I'm excited. Thank you, so thank one you. thing we do here with Slate TV, yes. the show is called Pose. So we do like a quick one, two, three, selfie. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, pose. Yes. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you so much for talking with us. Have a great evening. <gasps> She's amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sweating. Louder, louder. You all want louder? Gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. All righty. We have Angel right beside us. Yes. Thank you. Oh, I thought it was still down there. Yes. Yes. All right. So we had some people getting pretty close to us. I think they may be going back to take a picture, but don't fret, don't worry. Dominique and Angelica will be right back to talk to us. They had to get a picture together, and believe me, you should see their looks. They have to get a picture together. I'm excited. A Persian rug? No, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can everyone hear me now? We're doing like a Facebook Live test. Can you hear me? Period. Yes, I'm excited. So excited. <laughs> kind of can't hide it. Yes. Oh, Tati it has arrived. Tati is here. Tati Mugler is here. I'm so excited. Hmm. Oh, 007. Correction. We are live. Am I giving you Kelly? Is that who I'm giving you? Is that what's happening? Miss Rowland, you know her real name is Calendra. Or no, Calendria, it's something like that, it's wild. Calendria, there we go. Shout out to Calendria, tag her in the comments, let her know what's going on, let her know her little sis. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to talk about Slay Fest. So Slay Fest is the 16th through the 23rd. Really quickly, if you haven't got your tickets after this live, click the link and get your tickets. We also have some amazing things premiering with a few of our cast members here at Pose at Slay TV. So you definitely want to stay tuned to this live so you can figure out everything that's going on because we all here doing this thing here together. Okay. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Yes. They went back to take a picture, um, her and Angelica. Yes, everyone. Everything is sitting. Everyone, okay, let me tell you what people give me, right? Are you all ready for my celebrity lookalikes? Molly from Insecure, Kelly Rowland, Gabrielle Union, and Ryan Destiny from Star. That's what people give me, and I take it and run with it. <laughs> Yes, I will. Invite me to the show. I'll be there. Yes, God. Am I am I good? Am I dewy? Am I shiny? No, I'm good. All right. Perfect. I feel good. I'm feeling great. How are you all feeling out there? Woo! I'm excited. That was a good tongue pop. Mm, that was a good one. That was a good one. This is going to be a good night, y'all. We got the tongue pops on, the face is on, the unit is on. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yes. There's a line for pictures now. They're going to start pushing the girls through. They're pushing the girls through. Yes. So excited. You all have to see Angelica's look. It is like... <laughs> It's everything. It's truly everything. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. I just want to run on the red carpet and snatch them and drag them down here. You think I can get away with it? <laughs> Y'all think I can get away with it? I think I can. I really think I can. Uh, so excited. I almost had Angel. We'll get him in a second. Angel Carrill plays Lil Poppy on the show. Yes, yes. So, and Angel Carrill looks so good. He has on like a plaid suit. I know he hot. It looked like wool. Whew, but it looks good. But it's hot. He looks amazing. I can't wait to speak to him. Yes, yes. You all should see the looks in this room tonight. They are fabulous. Fabulous. Ooh, for those of you all that are just joining the live, we are live on the red carpet. I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones with Slay TV, and we are going to be interviewing the cast, crew, directors, and producers of Pose on FX. So stay with us because we're live. Yeah. And the, and the carpet is a black glitter carpet, so... There's glitter everywhere. Period. Don't you like how I'm like dancing here with no music? It's in my brain. It's all in my brain. Yes, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we're back. <laughs> Super duper excited. Don't forget, we have Angelica Ross coming down the carpet. We have, she plays Candy on the show. We have Dominique Jackson coming down the red carpet. She plays Electra on the show. We have Angel Carrillo coming down the carpet. He plays Little Poppy on the show. Angel, how are you? It's been about a year and some change. So how are you feeling tonight, other than thirsty? Oh my God, thirsty. I'm gonna put this down. I don't wanna be on the no, you're fine. Um, I'm feeling great. I'm fe I'm, I was like so nervous at first, and now I think you, you have the, the best the best time to have me at, because I'm like, I'm finally relaxed. Well oil been worked in. Nobody, nobody's gonna end my life, I'll be okay. Not in your life. I mean, well, we do slay over here, so I can't really. 
All right, so you play Little Poppy on the show. What category does Little Poppy walk for those out there that may not know? Benji. Benji and Benji. Benji Realness. I know that's right. So when it comes to walking, Benji Realness, have you ever been to a ball before? I have, yeah. I've All been right. to four, three. Yes, three. Okay. Ha. So how did you take your experience from being at a ball and how were you able to cultivate that and translate that into Little Poppy's character, but also take it back into the 80s and the 90s? Um, I think it's so easy to take it back to the era just because... Our, I'm so sorry. Um, our costumes, our environment, they set all that for us. And I love, I love to go about my acting in a very... Uh, present way if that makes sense so when I step into a into a place I'm like how can I be present how can I be here in this moment so I let that take care of itself um, and then as far as you know bringing that same energy that I've found in the real ballroom community as opposed to when we're on set for pose is just enjoying and soaking up that energy you know that everyone around me is is here for me they want to see me win they want to see me succeed and I want to be the best version of myself in front of all these people work now little poppy also plays a really vital role on this show because your character shows a lot of the struggles and ways that people had to make their livelihood happen for them what can you say little poppy's role and how important is it for people to see little poppy go through the uh being a drug dealer and all of those different things will we see little poppy come out of that in season two or will we continue to see you struggle with that um, I think you'll definitely see him go out. Um, Poppy got his GED in the year that we jumped in. GED. Um, and he, had, he, you know, he got a little job. Does not, you know, slinging dope in the corner. Um, and that, you know, he's, I believe, trying to make a positive difference in the household um, and trying to cause a little less heartache for everyone around him. Yeah. Family first. Thank you so much for talking with Slate TV. Now, before we go, I don't know if you remember last year, but you got to strike a pose because the show is posed. So you ready? We're going to take a selfie right here. One, two, three. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. We look stunning. Thank you. Tati. Hello, darling. I am here with the Tati. How are you tonight? going on I'm doing good you look amazing what inspired this look because slime green is everywhere but I haven't seen it like this yet you are killing the game slaying thank you um I just never did this color before and I felt like this would really compliment my figure so I just went for something different she looks good we're gonna give you a little shoe cam on the live get into the tea glitter on the glitter carpet all right now what house are you in on the show Ooh, I'm in the house of Wintour. Tell me a bit about these new houses and what part they may or may not play in this season. Um, well, the new house of Wintour is definitely an upper echelon house. We're definitely the girls that come through, snatch the trophies, and if we don't get it our way, then we're going to get it our way regardless. Okay. So um, that, you know, the house of Evangelista, they're definitely the, they're the more family-oriented you know, take you in and just nurture you. And Ferocity, they're giving you like Fem Queen House, like an all Fem Queen raging house. And yeah. So you are an active member in the ballroom scene and community. You walk performance, which means she vogues down everyone. So how important is it to make sure that your image of what Vogue is and what performance is is portrayed on this show, but still in the decade that we are filming in, which is the 80s and 90s, how important is it for you to be a part of that? And how does it feel? Um, I think it feels amazing. Being on Pose, it actually opened up doors for me as far as new performance because I've never, ever done Old Way. So I've been actually learning more about where Old Way came from and how it influences performance today. So I'm actually grateful for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just ha I just been having fun, and you know, Pose is amazing. I've just been doing a damn thing, girl. Yeah, I know that's right. Two more questions. Old way, explain it as quick as you can. What is old way to those out there that may or may not know? 
Old Way is the original form of voguing femme. Um, it originally came from posing, locking. The original name was Pop, Spin, and Dip. Okay. From Pop, Spin, and Dip, it went on to Old Way, and then on from Old Way, it branched off into Butch Queen, Vogue Femme, and then Femme Queen Performance, and Runners with a Twist, and all of those things. I'm so excited to see you on this show and this new house of Wins Whore. So here at Slate TV on the Pose Red Carpet, we strike a pose. So on three, we're going to take a little selfie right there. You ready? One, two, three. Period, Pooh. Yes, give me a hug. Thank you so much for talking with us. Have a good one tonight, love. Yes, that is the Tati. I'm trying to tell y'all. She's lit. Smells amazing. And looks so good in lime green. Ah. All righty. So we have Dominique Jackson making her way right on down here. She's like two press peoples away. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to watch this footage back and say, child, you were gagging. Yes. It's Pose on the red carpet. If you're not gagging, who are you? Where are you? Why are you not gagging? <laughs> uh, everyone looks amazing. MJ Rodriguez and another pullback ponytail. It is very styled. Uh, uh, she just has to get down here so you can see it. It's amazing. It's amazing, you all. You kind of have to be here to see it, but thank God you're here with me. So I know you see it. I know you see it. Yes, yes. That song may or may not be problematic. Yes. Oh. I'm cooling on down. Oh, you all are being shy. So you're leaving me to ask all the questions? All right now. Don't, don't you let this live end and still have a question, girl. That's not the point. The point is for you to be here with me. Yes, that's why we are live on the Pose Red Carpet. I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones with the next on the end, and we are here on Slate TV with Slate TV, and we're slaying tonight on TV. I know you like that. You like that one. Oh, yes, Steven has hit the carpet, a producer, consultant, and writer on the show. Super excited. Can't wait to find out what the inner brains of the shows are thinking while they're like, in the creative process and before they even know what the costumes and everything are going to look like. Oh, goodness, I'm asking my question now. <laughs> All right. I mean, we may need a picture and a resume, but if you can get that to us ASAP, I'll ask it. <laughs> yes. I'm serious. You can email it. We'll check it. I'll ask it. Power's in your hands. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm excited. It's happening. So excited, you all. I'm so excited. Yes, Scott. So excited. The red carpet is hot tonight. <laughs> we are hot tonight. Hey, Tonka. Do you see this venue? I am drinking, I am drinking spaghettis, and I am eating the sparkling waters. <laughs> Change it up on you. You don't know how to do that. You don't know how to do that, do you? You never sipped on spaghetti. You come here, you get to sip on some spaghetti. Yes, super excited. Am I good? Perfect, perfect. Thank you. And that is what we call blotting. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so excited. You kind of have to be like a hawk when you're on the red carpet. You're like, I want to talk to her. That's what happens. That's what happens. Mm, thank you so much, Marcus. 
There is a train in the room, and I think we know who's wearing it. I think we know who's wearing it. Yes, Billy Porter, the Billy Porter, walking in with a, I'd say, 20 to 30 foot train being carried on in. So excited. Uh, walk into the room, honey, like no other. Now, they walk into the room purse first. Funny blooper stories. Got gotcha. you. Got gotcha. you. Yes, I'm so excited. Dominique is one person away from me. Ah, so excited. You all don't know how excited I am. This is so much fun, you all. I'm so glad everyone could be here with us. Uh, oh, my goodness. I am so excited, you all. Yes. Good one, Stevie. Thank you so much. I almost didn't ask that. Ah. Okay. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Yes, the red carpet is busy, busy, busy now. You see a full 180, a full 180. Here come the voices, everyone's talking, everyone's laughing, we're here. We are here. You know my name, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm next. I'm next. Hello. My name is Eddie Jarrell Jones with the next on the end. I'm your lady of the night. I'm excited. Everyone's talking. Everyone's chatting. Yes, you all. I know you see that beautiful long line at that red carpet, honey. The night has begun. So excited. So excited. Oh, my God. There's a sickening look right behind us right now by one of the co-stars. Oh, my goodness. Now, this co-star has been a few houses in season one, so I guess we'll get to see what house they're in this season. But this look is very much grand prize about the situation. Oh my goodness. So good. Yes, I'm so excited. So excited. Yes, so excited. Oh, crap. Okay. Here. Oh. We're going to grab her. We're going to grab her. Here. And it was like, yes, I can unleash you. I can unleash you. So I have incorporated everything. Yes. Yeah. But I have to. Wow. 
Yes, yes. Yes, everyone. I'm in between two legends right now. Icon and a legend. Yes. So excited. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Good. Yes, yes. Yes, God. Yes, yes, you all. We are getting ready to ask them our questions. Make sure you're typing your questions in the comments so I can do my best to get them asked and answered. Yes, yes. So excited. Haley just hit the red carpet. She looks amazing. A lady in red. Excited. Yes, I'm getting ready to snatch Dominique, y'all. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Hello, hello, Dominique Jackson. You like, thank God I didn't wear white today. Thank you. Sisters. Yes, of course. We are sisters. You're so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're beautiful as well. Oh, my goodness. So, being an icon in ballroom, right? How important is it for you to be standing here in 2019 on the postseason two red carpet, an icon in ballroom, someone that has made such an impact? How important is it to you to be here tonight? Oh, it's extremely important because every time I show up, I feel like my sisters get encouragement. Because when I looked at, at women like Amaya Scott, right, it was like, you're from ballroom. You know me. You feel me. You understand me. And when I looked at her on Star, it was like, okay, we can do it. So for me to show up right now, it makes me realize that if we don't show up, people don't realize that we are here, that we are human. And those of us that can show up and be visible safely must do so. So I see that you definitely highlighted safely because right now we are going through something that has been happening forever, but we're finally able to see it, the violence against trans and the LGBTQ plus community. How do shows like this, seeing the trans representation and the gender nonconforming representation on television, how does that help our society in hopefully making us safer and getting our stories told so that people know that they're real? Because here's what happens. When I looked at television, I looked for someone that I could look up to. And we looked up to like Diane Carroll and women like that, right? But what we did not realize is that in looking up to these women, they weren't us. I needed someone that I could look up to and say, oh, she's trans, so it's okay for me to be me. And then when you look at these television shows, you realize that there are other people that are, are like us and have representation. So representation is always important. Now, since Pose, I feel like the access uh, that is being granted, which should be a right to the trans and LGBTQ plus community, has really heightened. What part does access play? Access to uh, media, access to healthcare, access to basic human rights. How does that change our everyday way of living when we're able to have these representations in mainstream media? Because the representation means that we are included, and that's what people don't get. If I'm out here, it means that I have to find health care. I have to navigate a system. And now my responsibility is to go back to my community and let them know that they can navigate that very same system. We may not all be actors, right? But we can find our own place in the world if we understand that we are represented and it is okay to be us. Oh, that means so much. So last question. You are a runway girl. What tips would you have for someone? I'm a new girl in the ballroom scene, so I walk runway. So what tips would you have for someone like me or anyone that walks runway? What tips do you have on how to make your presence known on the floor? First off, you have to stand at the back of that runway and feel you. You have to hold your head high, shoulders back, one foot in front of the next, 
sway the hips and let them know that you're not walking this category because it's a category. You're walking the category because you own it. I know that's right. Now, again, we're here with Slay TV, and this is Pose. So I don't know if you remember last year, but you know we have to take, like, a little selfie right here. So on three, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Yes, thank you so much, Dominique. I love you, baby. Mwah. I can't you wait to see slay the show. that runway. Okay. Thank you. All thank right. you so much. Ah, that is Dominique Jackson, y'all. <laughs> so excited. MJ is so close. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Sean, am I good? Okay. Wet team. We're going to have to grab Angelica from that side. I'm going to talk to her publicist. We got her. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tonka, I didn't ask that question. She literally just got asked that question right before she got to us. So you know, you don't wanna be a double dipper, you know? I'll tell you the answers later. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ryan Jamal Swain looks effortlessly amazing. You're gonna see them like you've never seen them before. This is a look. It is, it, is, it is so much happening. It is so minimalist, but it is so over. Oh, my gosh. Like, this look is jaw-dropping. This look is jaw-freaking-dropping. Do you see the glitter brow? Zoom into the glitter brow. Zoom in on the glitter brow. Go ahead. That brow was insane. It matches the carpet. Everybody is on theme tonight. I'm so excited. It's so crazy. You get so hot as soon as you start asking questions, and then you immediately cool off as soon as they walk away. It's crazy. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Thank you for watching from wherever you're watching from. If you're watching from your car, your living room, work, if you're watching from work, Go watch in the bathroom. You don't want to get caught on camera. We need you to keep your job. But, yes, I'm so excited. We have Angelica uh, coming. We have Ryan coming. We have MJ coming. We have Haley coming. I'm waiting to see who else I see. We have Steven coming. This, we have Billy coming. We can't forget about Billy. Billy doesn't let you forget about Billy. Uh, Janet Mock, she looks amazing. She's waiting right at the beginning of the red carpet. She's stepping onto the carpet now. The lights are going to start flashing. I see them. It's happening. Click, click, click. Flick, flick, flick. There's a pick, pick, pick. Coming your way. Check the gram after you watch this live. You know the girl's going to edit them first. At least I am. So excited. Oh. I see India Moore, the beautiful, the gorgeous, the ever so talented activist, India Moore. She is making her way onto the carpet. She's next in line. Everyone gets their moment. Everybody gets their moment to shine here on Slay TV. Mm hmm Yes, God. Yes. So excited. So excited. So excited. So excited. Oh my God, I cannot wait until Ryan gets right here. I need to talk about this look. I need to talk about this look. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello everyone, make sure you're sharing this live. Share this live now if you haven't shared it already. We want as many people to be here on the red carpet with us, Slay TV, in the moment. We're live, I just got some light. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Step into the light. <laughs> <laughs> when you're still in line and they can feel it and they turned it right on away. Super excited. Share the live. Comment your questions. Uh, take a second to share right now because we're going to talk to some amazing people in about the next 30 to 45 seconds. It's happening, you all. It's happening. Pose on the red carpet. I'm here, Eddie Jarrell Jones with the next on the end with Slay TV. And we are live, girl. 
Thank you so much, Siobhan. It means so much to me. I'm burning up. I feel like I am melting as we speak, but I feel very much in place. If this hair would just stay to the back. So excited. Yes. Super excited. I see some familiar faces. Can't wait to talk to everyone. Mm-hmm. Tonka, I am going to ask MJ your question. I'm going to ask MJ what and who she channels in the mother of Blanca. Because Blanca is mother of mothers. So that's something I want to know, too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm excited, you all. Super excited. Super excited. Yes, yes, you all, we are here, we still live. Everyone is like right here. I'm gonna start pulling people left and right. Left and right. Yes. Hey, boo. Can't wait. Yes. Super excited. We're going to get Ryan really quickly. Doesn't everyone look amazing on the carpet tonight? Category is elegance, honey. Everyone is literally extravagant. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, watching this skirt move down this red carpet is everything. Like everybody's getting sound from all of the interviews. It's everything. Yes. This is when it pays to be patient, girl. Pays to be patient. So excited. There's so much glitz, glitter, and glam everywhere. I am in like gay heaven right now. <laughs> ah, I'm literally walking on glitter. Period. So excited. Please continue to share, 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 share the live. Let's get it up to 1K, you all. We got some great things to talk about. 100K. Why stop there? Yes.
Oh, hey. Oh, I just saw you on set maybe a couple days ago, didn't I? A few days ago. Days ago, yes. How you doing? I'm doing well. Everyone, we are here with the Angelica Cross. How does it feel being here tonight? It feels amazing. This is season two. You know, you feeling that extra bump from another season, you know. Okay. Extra dusty. We're ready. Period. Yes, period. So this look turned me as soon as I as soon as I saw you walk into the room. Please tell me, Miss Princess, what inspired this look tonight? Um, well, I wanted to come in with some angelic energy. And, you know, talking with my stylist, white is just one of those things that sets the dark skin girls off. Yeah, as you know already today. So I just wanted to be bright and, you know, wear white. And my stylist kills it every time, Brandon. <laughs> kills it every time, yes. You look amazing tonight. So Candy plays a really important role on this show. She shows kind of the gritty, shady side of ballroom and how it can be for some people to navigate that scene that's supposed to be safe for them. How important is it for Candy to really express herself in that ballroom, even though she doesn't always feel loved? You know, it's one of those things that sometimes people want you to just go away, you know, when, you're, when they don't see it for you. But Candy just says, you know what? I may not get it this time, I may not get it the next time, but you gonna see me. And it is really important for people to not dim their lights, no matter what kind of feedback you're getting. Give and live your life full on 10, and then learn, you're gonna learn, you know, what's what works for you and what doesn't, but at least put it out there all on the table so you can kind of, you know, work with it all, yes. Now also Candy struggles with some issues with access and healthcare and things like that. How important, is access for trans people, for people of gender, queer experience, for the LGBTQ plus community? How important is access in those avenues in the world? It's such a multi-layer conversation because you have things like gender reassignment surgery, which is now becoming a little bit more accessible to um, trans women, especially through Medicaid and things like that as well. The problem is, is that we have to continue to look at things in a 360 way because just giving us access to things like that but what about the post care and the care leading up to that decision? We have to learn that in medicine, they talk about treating the whole person. So when it comes to trans people, we have to, when we want to treat that whole person, it's not just about hormones. It's not just about surgery. It's about housing. It's about employment. It's about all those things that are going to help me live a healthy, prosperous life. What does pride mean to you? Because this world pride is the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, which was started by trans women and drag queens. What does it mean for you to be here on this carpet tonight, in this month, in this moment, in this space? For me, pride is about rebellion. Pride is says, I'm going to do this no matter what you think. Pride says, I'm going to live my colors and live everything out fully. So for me, I think that we need to return pride to this kind of riot space, this rebel space that says, you know what, I'm going to stand up against, you know, uh, police harassment and against, you know, carceration and against immigration. Fuck ICE. That's how I feel. Yes, God. Now, you know here on Slay, we're on the post red carpet. We got to take a little selfie. So yes. right there on three. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Yes, God. <laughs> Period. Thank you so well, much for talking with us. Yes. Oh. Little sister right there. Little sister. Yes, little sis. Yes, yes. I also get Candy's little sister, too. I'm taking it and running with it. Oh, all right. Where are the girls at? We got to track her down. We have MJ over there. We have Ryan over there. We have Haley over there. Uh, everybody's here. Billy's a few steps down. Yes, India's making her way down. Everyone's in the building. Yes, the night is begun. It's beginning. It's amazing.
All right, you all. Everyone is here. Everyone's making it to the mic. I'm really excited. I'm trying to figure out who, who can I snatch first. Period. Billy Porter has gotten the girls and the gays into formation over this past red carpet and award season. He's really killed it. I can't wait for him to get down here so he can talk to us. Ew. Yes, go on. So excited. How are you? I am here with the Ryan Jamal Swain. How are you tonight? I'm great. Do you see this look? How can I not be? First of all, I watched you walk in. I watched you bust the corner. I watched you take the pictures. I need the inspiration, the designer. What? Ooh! Tell me all about it. So the inspiration was really owning the face, the space that I'm the prince of pose. <laughs> And just owning that. You know, it, it was something that I wanted to merge masculine and feminine energy. So we have the nails, we have the rings, which, you know, in, 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 in medieval time, you know, the babies, that's how they showed their wealth. The princely, you know, like just show, personify. So, you know, this is vintage Unguero, and this is a Christian Louis Vuitton shoe. You know, we're giving very Prince and the Pauper. He's, you know, popping away, popping away. So, yes. How has your life changed since Pose has aired and taken the world by storm? You are America's sweetheart. Oh, thank you. No, it's, it's one of those moments where it's just like I have to pinch myself over and over and over because, you know, it's so funny when you're in the middle of the work that you don't necessarily know the impact. You don't feel it. You know, and so when you go out, I live in, I live in a very, very beautiful, metropolitan, vibrant city. You know, and when I go out of my out of my out of my house and I see these people coming up to me crying on the brink of tears because the work has touched them, you know, it's one of those things where I knew that this would happen, but I didn't know that quickly. And so what it's allowing me to do, and especially being the company of all my castmates who are amazing, um, what it allows me to do is find ownership in my own gift, in my own voice. And that's what's gonna happen in season two, right? We got introduced to Damon. Season one, beautiful, doe-eyed, bushy tail, wide-eyed, bushy tail, wishful, dreaming, you know, and then season two, we get to we get to find him in a space. I think the word for Damon in season two is ownership. Ownership. What does pride mean to you? It's World Pride right now, the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. Being here in this space on this carpet, how important is it for you to represent for all of the young people out there that could be looking at you and seeing reflection of themselves? So pride in one word for me is, in, is authenticity. Pride is truth. Um, 50th anniversary where so many of our black and brown trans women of color, um, so many of our black and brown LGBTQ luminaries, our unsung heroes, were at the front line of social change. And for this to be premiering in Pride Month, in New York City, in the 50th anniversary, where it's World Pride, we have time to like show up and be seen and heard. I think what's been so what's been so crazy about these years is that they you know people want to rent the culture but don't want to buy the culture and nobody wants to stay they they never want to stay in the house they just want to visit and dip out we ain't having that anymore we're not because there's there's too much there's too much at stake here we have so many things so many variables being divisive in our walk and in our way for us to be like to just be lollygagging on the truth and on the work this is what it is and this is what it's going to be period so Damon is very different from Ryan in, in your fashion sense. So what parts of Damon and Ryan, you think so? I think Ryan is, Ryan slays every single time, okay? Damon is just a little bit more intimate about the situation, unless we're going to be learning something new in season two. He's been in New York now for two years. Oh, okay. He should catch up. Okay. He's caught up. What parts of Damon are in, uh, what parts of Ryan are in Damon, and how do you pull your inspiration to play Damon? Well, both of us, what is both intersected in our DNAs is the, the honesty, the openness to just learn to, to love without any type of inhibitions and understanding what unconditional love is and know how to articulate that physically when other people don't know how to. I think that's where me and, me and Damon meet because we are very open and honest people. Um, 
and ready to learn and ready to be seen and also a little bit over and over 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 sensitive and I mean no, over giving over giving okay. over giving you know sometimes we we give in the pursuit of you know damning ourselves so you know that's where in season two you'll find him and it will allow other people to see themselves in a way that oh this is my problem too oh let me oh he's doing that oh that's how he's getting through that oh good notice so that's how I can carry it into my own life um, and that's what the power of television, the power of entertainment can do. Because not only are we learning in academia, but we also learn from entertainment. And poses, so it is academia for, for, for America and worldwide. So, yeah. Real quickly, let's take a selfie. You already know how this goes. Yes, One, two, three. Yes, thank you so much for talking with us here at Slate TV. Thank you. Enjoy your evening. Oh, oh we're getting Billy Porter. We're getting Billy. Yes, God. Are you with Billy? Are you with Billy Porter? No, I'm just. How are you? Yes, come slay with Slay TV. Oh my goodness. Tell me about this look tonight. Um, tonight I'm wearing Lawrence and Chico. Yeah, it's no me too. Um, they actually designed a recent outfit that I wore to Ryan Murphy's Met Gala after party. It was this electric blue moment, so fab. Um, so I was like, yeah, I need to get into them again. They just like create such like big, buoyant, like uh, just like, you know, you just want to like, live your life in it you know so i had a reveal on the red carpet this goes up a little bit but it's a little hot in here girl like i'm gonna dying i'm yes yeah, hello right, sweating so her out for those out there that don't know you know your house hopped a little bit in season one what house is your character in this season um that i cannot reveal um but you will see shortly you know but i do start off in evangelista um, you know, as we ended season one. So that's all I can tell you. You just have to watch and see, girl. What does Pride mean to you? It's the 50th year anniversary. World Pride is being hosted right here in New York City. How does it feel being here in this moment, on this carpet, in this space? What does it mean? Oh, God. I mean, there's just so much love in the room. Um, it is overwhelming at times, um, but also such a good feeling as well. Um, Pride, Pride to me just means... I mean, just living your authentic self every day, 24-7. I mean, I know it doesn't come that easily. Sometimes it's, it's so difficult, and I understand that. Um, but once you find it, it's, it's so beautiful. Um, and I hope that everyone finds it, honestly. I mean, that's what it means. It's just like being yourself, no matter what that means. Now, here at Slay, we always take a quick selfie because the show is called Pose. So on three, you ready? One, two, three. We got it. Yes, thank you thank so you. much. Mwah. Enjoy Mwah. your evening. You got to get Billy. Ooh. Hello. I'm locking eyes with M. I'm, I'm. Yes, yes. The red carpet is being stormed, you all. The carpet is being stormed. Middle parts are in this season, everyone. Middle parts are in. 
Your girl's on trend. <laughs> Yes, look at all of this amazing extravagance right here in this corner. It's literally happening right here. Literally happening right here. I'm going to lock eyes with Billy Porter. We're going to have a moment. I just did it. I just did it. I just did it. It's all about the eyes. It's all in the eyes. It's all in the eyes. All in the eyes, darling. It's getting hot in here. And we're back. I'm Eddie Gerard Jones with Slay TV. We're live on the red carpet. If you're just joining, make sure you are sharing this live. Everyone deserves to see what you're seeing, right? Take a second. You don't even have to leave the live. Just click share. It doesn't cost anything, girls. Don't worry about it. Thank you. We are having a good time tonight. You know what I'm really excited for? A drink of water. Oh my God. I'll be so excited to sit down and see this season of Pose. I'm so excited. Yes. Yes, yes. I am going to up, and I see Delone. Because it keeps on moving when I go like this, it goes down here. There is a look coming down the runway. You all, it is a busy room. You should see what's happening behind me. It's just a bunch of media, a bunch of press, lights, camera, a lot of action. Uh, there are pictures being taken. There are people trailing this glitter everywhere. It's going to take this hotel forever to get this glitter up. But they should keep it forever. Pride is 365. Uh-oh, Billy's leaving. No, no, no. MJ is coming our way. We're going to grab her. MJ is on her way. She's on her way to slay. This look is amazing. India looks amazing. It's so structured, it's so glamorous, it's elegant, it's cultural, it's impactful. It's a moment. This is what it takes to create moments, people. This, this. 
Uh, there's so many great things happening right now. So many great things happening right now. Time is flying. Oh, my goodness. Thank you all so much for being here with us. Again, share, share, share. Like, like, like. Do it. It doesn't cost you a thing. I know that's right. Put us on the speaker. Blast us through the house. Make sure the neighborhood is watching. Get it all. Get it all. Don't miss a moment. Uh-oh. Peppermint just walks in. Twiggy Poochie Garcon is in the building. Yes, the doll is here. Everyone say, hey, Twiggy Poochie Garcon. Yes, Twiggy looks amazing. Do you see this pony? Ah, ah this is a moment. This is a moment. So I'm minding everyone's business, and I think the cast is trying to take a group picture, but I am grabbing India. You heard me. Okay. This is what it takes. You have to be on it. You have to be ready. You have to be willing, okay, to snatch. To snatch the girl. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Share, 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 like, 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 comment your questions. I'm going to do the best to answer them and ask them. Yes. So many familiar faces in here. Everyone looks gorgeous, beautiful, and amazing. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. She'll be right back. <laughs> so that means they're going to take Haley as well. That's all right. That just means everyone's going to get reordered and come right, right on back down this red carpet. Type your questions now. Now is your time. Now is your time. The cast is going to take a picture really quickly. Now is your time. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> what does pride mean to you? Everyone looks amazing, don't they? This cast picture is over. I'm right here. Yes, yes. I'm here with the Jason Prodigy. Hello. Hello. So we are both on this red carpet asking them questions. How does it feel? But I mean, it feels really good to kind of see, you know, us represented on the other side of the carpet and the other side of the carpet. So we're on both sides of the carpet just doing what we do. Slay TV, ballroom throwbacks. We just here doing what we do, you know? Very much that. I know I'm happy to be right here next to you because it's a bunch of good energy. A lot of good energy, a lot of good beats, you know, good brow, good oh, skin, oh. nice white teeth, you know. Some good brows that have walked down mm -hmm. this runway. Well, who's had on your favorite look of the night? I know everybody. Everybody's over, but who's your favorite? My favorite look. Oh, that's tough. Mm. Right? I, I would have to give it to the overall Billy Porter. I would have to. I mean, but for, for the guys, of course. But 
I don't know. It's a battle right now between Angelica. I don't want to say. I don't know. It's a battle. I can't pick. It is a battle. Because they're giving you makeup. They're giving you hair. They're giving you skin. They, they, it's moments. It's the moments. They're giving you a lot right now. Yeah. It's pose. It's pose. It's pose. This is, this is what this scene is all about. You know what I feel like? I feel like right now I'm at a ball. I'm at a ball, and we're getting ready for a grand prize category, a grand march, and it's like, I can't, I don't know who I want as a judge. I'm confused. I need a drink. Hennessy, double, with a splash of Coke, please. Okay. I, I'm done. I can't. <laughs> yes, bro. I'm going to throw back to me. Slay TV. We are here on, on the, the false red, red carpet. Well, black and glittery carpet. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, it kind of matches my shoe. Yes, work. A little shoe cam. Oh, kind of matches my shoe. A little, oh, a little, oh, shoe, little shoe, shoe cam. cam. A little shoe cam. A little moment. A little moment. See, <laughs> we give it moments. See? Pretty much. <laughs> here comes Miss Janet. This is how you camp out and get the people that you want. You forget about the cameras, and you just turn around and you make eye contact, that real honest eye contact that says, please talk to me. <laughs> get into the looks of the evening, you all. Get into the looks of the evening. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Steven is coming on back. Yes, yes. 143 people, thank you all so much for being here. I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end here with Slay TV on the Pole Season 2 New York City premiere red carpet. We are live. Make sure you are sharing, sharing, sharing. Like, like, like. And comment. Interact with each other. Make sure you're asking your questions. Maybe somebody in the live can answer it. Or maybe I can get an answer from one of the cast and crew members. Right now we have Deshaun Wesley making it down the runway. We have Twiggy Pucci Garcon making it down the runway. I'm calling this a runway. This is the Pose Red Carpet, but it is a runway right now. We have so many divas, so many legends, icons in the room, in the building tonight. I'm excited to talk to everyone. Let's get it started. But what about the cover, my love? I saw the cover as well, but we need some direction. Was it fun? What did it mean? I want to know what you want to know. Yes, yes. Get into this look again. Looking good. Hello, the Twiggy Pucci Garcon. Ah, how are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? Yes, I'm doing good. Can we get a moment for this hair, for this look? God, giving me all kind of vibes from the motherland herself. How does it feel to be on the carpet tonight? It feels good. It feels good. I'm excited to see the show. I haven't seen it yet. Being on set and not seeing the final product gives you, like, anxiety, but, yeah. Okay, so for those of you all out there that may be watching for the first time, Twiggy Pushy Garcon is a legend in runway in the ballroom scene. Being a part of the ballroom scene and being a legend, holding such an esteemed place, really doing a lot for the community, how does it feel coming full circle right now in this moment of being on this red carpet and being able to contribute and write for a show that is a community that you've come from? I feel like it's a dual feeling. Like on one side it feels surreal, like, oh shit, this happened. Um, and then on the other hand, it feels like we always belonged here, right? Like we always should have been on the red carpet and on TV and um, and hold the space that we're holding now. So it feels like this uh, very special and unique duality. Yeah. So you are one of the consultants on Pose, and you make sure that the show is, is, is as authentic as it possibly can be when it comes to ballroom and the experience of being in that culture and scene. How do you bring the ballroom to the screen and make it authentic? Well, so this season my role is much more um, as a runway choreographer, and so when you see the ball scenes, 
um, making those words from the pages of the script come to life, um, doing a lot of movement coaching so that it, um, so that the actors and actresses can um, give what we give, right? Like, um, so it's a lot of that, to be honest. Um, and then I do a bunch of stuff with like the FX team and social media and the activations and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So, what does Pride mean to you? This is the 50th uh, anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. This is World Pride in New York City. We're in New York City right now on the Pulse Red Carpet. How does it feel being in this space? What does this moment mean to you? And what would you say to anyone in the community that is hoping that they can get to where you are one day? To center yourself in gratitude. Um, and I think right now this moment is about uplifting, protecting, and making sure the stories and expertise of um, trans women who started this movement are not are not erased, not invisibilized, not um, done any harm, which we see every day, right? And so I think centering ourselves in that um, and committing and dedicating ourselves to that work. Do you think that the heightened representation of trans women and gender fluid people on mainstream media and in, in, in screens in our homes, do you think that that will help when it comes to violence against the trans and LGBTQ plus community? Do you think that the representation of trans and LGBTQ plus people on TV will help the violence that has been happening for years, but now we're able to see? Yeah, I think authentic representation will in that, um, you know, projects like Pose that humanize life and humanize experiences, um, that is one of the best benefits out of it, right? Like for folks who are um, less familiar with different experiences, it um, tells you the truth, right? It tells you the truth about it and it makes you face whatever facts you might have been afraid to face about a person, about their identities, about their traumas, about their oppression, um, in a way that makes it relatable. And so I think ultimately, if we have projects that are authentic, um, then they will humanize all sorts of experiences. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking with Slay TV. Now, you already know we got to take a selfie right, uh, here. right here. One, two, three. We got it. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. You I love Twiggy. Uh, uh, Yes, I'm glad you all are loving it. Make sure you click share. Other people deserve to see what we are seeing and hearing right now. Promise. Yes. Yes. Come on over. Come on over, baby. Yes. We are here with Jason Rodriguez, the House of Ninjas in the building. Tell me about this look. So this look, let's, before going into the fashion of it, big anime head. So this is actually a character on this anime called Black, Clo Clo Black Clover. He's super kind, he's super grungy, but super fashion forward. So ask my friend Diego Montaya, Montaya to make this look. This is everything. Can we get a quick spin around, a quick moment, something? Ugh, oh, these feathers, darling. Grand prize about the situation. All right now. Last season, you know, we saw you go from kind of one house to another house. Will you be house hopping this season, or are you going to find a home? I mean, once a house hopper, always a house hopper. Sad to say. <laughs> so, yes, I am hopping to another house. What does it mean to be a part of the Pose family during Pride Month on this red carpet? What does Pride mean to you? Pride for me feels elevation, and it, it, it's opportunity for, you know, youth, LGBT youth. Because for me, growing up, being queer, not really watching TV and seeing somebody that relates to me on TV, we're creating this opportunity. So here we are, here we are at World Pride having a season two of Pose and more youth can turn on the TV and hopefully see themselves. They can see a trans woman, they can see a trans man, they can see black, Latino, gay men, female as well. And I think that that should be celebrated. June in forward. <laughs> now off the show you are in the house of ninja what is a house for those out there that may or may not know and what does being a part of the house of ninja mean to you so for me i used to be a ninja so i'm not a ninja anymore <laughs> you given 007 007 so it's slim 007 but prior to that being part of a house is pretty much a unification of queer people under 
an ideal. For us, you know, most of us, it was seeing Willie Ninja and being so inspired by him, by seeing him on In Paris is Burning, for me seeing him in YouTube videos, seeing this elegance of how they vogued. You know, when you see a Ninja Vogue, you know that's a Ninja Voguing. So it's, it's sort of we're embraced under this ideal that he had or this thing he created for queer people and it sort of brings us together. So being a house, caring for each other, caring for other members, being there for other members. So if they walk a ball, you should go there to support regardless if you're walking or not. So it's really feeling that sense of support in ballroom, outside of it, everyday life, feeling that you have chosen a family and a, cho a family has chosen you to be part of something beautiful. <laughs> this is also exciting. So you know we're here so with Slay TV. Yeah. This is Pose. So we got to pose and strike a uh, picture for the camera, right? So on three, are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much for thank talking you. with us tonight. L lifting you. Yes. You. Thank you. Enjoy your evening, baby. Thank you. All right. The Deshaun Wesley Lavin. How are you tonight? You felt it? Oh, I woke Deshaun up, y'all. Oh, how are you tonight? Tell me about this look. Baby, well, I'm wearing one of our ballroom own, Marquise Foster. Uh, my brother, just like, he's freaking amazing. I wish he could just style me for the rest of my life. But, like, literally, you go in that closet, darling, you just take advantage of what's going on. So, do, do, do. A moment. It's very major red. It's very, like, Navy Steel. It's very, it's a moment. It's a moment. Like everything, you just put it together as long as it look good. Yes, God. Mm. So. You vogue, you're a part of performance, you are active in the ballroom scene, you are a commentator. How important is it for you to represent for your community on a platform and on a screen like Pose? Man, I mean, overall, I think it's amazing that Pose, you know, just had this idea and this plan and, and like brought it to the forefront of a ballroom. Um, I think, you know, my participation in this, well, a lot of people don't know I'm kind of a character on a show. Ow. But, um, you know, I think it's great. Like, this, you know, it's a next level type thing. You know, I always say level up or just, you know, just, just move on with your life. And uh, right now it's just to level up and definitely within this community. Um, and why not be the, the, the king of this thing while I was on, a, you know, the row? What I'm saying. <laughs> How has Ballroom changed over the years? This show was shot in the 80s and 90s, but now we are very much in 2019. How has Ballroom changed and what have you been able to witness the good and the bad? Well, I mean, from the time that I participated and I got in this scene around like 98, 99, but you know, like I, type, I like to tell people that, forget it. So, I mean, I came in and it was very different, you know, the way that voguing and how the categories was displayed and how people, you know, put their contribution to ballroom was much different because it was it's, uh, that underground word is what was used then. And, you know, yes, we still use underground ballroom scene now, but not as much as we did from before because, baby, she's far from underground. And I think the change, I always say the change is always for the better. Um, this is why we created my, you know, the dance group called Vogue Evolution because we've seen the evolution of where voguing was going. And definitely when we, you know, in the beginning, we thought we were sharing with one another on YouTube, but we were sharing with one another while other people were watching us. So this was where it evolutionized. And, and if people didn't see that, you know, they sort of missed the opportunity, so I just kind of caught that before I hit the bricks, you know? Eh. Ballroom is very much above ground, okay? The girls are loving it. They're catching it. What does Pride mean to you? It's the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. World Pride is going to be hosted in New York City. Right now, we're in New York City on the red carpet for Pose Season 2 in the middle of World Pride Month. How does it feel? Baby, take advantage of this right now while it's going on. World Pride is in New York City. And y'all know, if y'all haven't heard about World Pride, Jesus Christmas. I wish I would have went to one out in Tel Aviv and everything like that, because that was fabulous. But like, even, again, this opportunity now, just here on the red carpet, being able to do something that I love, that I grew up wanting to do, and now I can be able to experience it doing something that I love. You cannot change that for the world. You cannot at all. Thank you so much for talking with Slate TV, but we got to take a selfie first because the show is called Pose. No shot day. Okay, so right there okay. in that little lens. Which one? one? This one or that one? Oh. That one? Bust Let's it. do that one. You're the only one that got that one. <laughs> so you ready? <laughs> Let's bust it. Two, three, one. What in the world? <laughs> so that's a blooper. It's so good, another quick question. Have there, any have there been any uh, funny blooper moments on Set. Heck yeah. Honestly, I were, being on set is the best thing ever. It's like literally like, oh gosh, because it's different houses. And as we sit with our houses and everything, and we're looking at the house of ferocity and the house of Evangelista, like, hey girls, we the new ones on a block. 
Yeah, I can't tell much. I can't tell much. All right, so let's get this right this time, all right? Yeah. Three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> we got it. All right. Thank you so much. Love you, baby. Mwah. Enjoy your evening, love. Yes. This is. I told y'all this was the runway. The girls are on the floor. No, you should. You have a moment. You. You. This is Slay TV, and you know we'll edit it up. Baby, I need one of those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mermaid Garcon. That's sis. But yes, thank you so much. Love you too. Wow. Uh, uh, See you inside. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Slay Squad, we are out here. We are on the ground, being as active as we can, as active as these inches, honey. Yes. We got one more. One more, Father Sean. <laughs> one more, Father Sean. The girl I've been waiting on all night. My beautiful sister, India. I can't wait to sit down and see the episode and take my shoes off. Oh, my puppies are crying. Look at them, y'all. They're crying. They look fabulous, though. But they're crying. <laughs> Real tears. The corns are cackling. This hair is hot. And this dress is <coughs> on. <coughs> yes, you all. The makeup made it through the night. Thank God. Thank God, Zorling. Look at child. I love this hair. I'm thinking of getting something a little longer, but I'm just learning how to handle hair that is past my shoulders. And it's a lot, honey. I sit on this wig all day. It's a wig. <laughs> so excited. One more beautiful angel to come down this runway, known as the Pose Red Carpet, India Moore. These shoes are everything. I'm so excited. I don't know how she's standing in them. They're red bottoms. I get it. You just stand in those. <laughs> Did you catch it? You just stand in them. So excited, you all. Share this live. It's not over yet. We still have to talk to India Moore. She plays Angel on the show. So excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. After this, we get to go and watch the show and have beautiful moments with everyone and have a great time tonight at the after party. So if you're watching at home, please set your clocks to June 11th when the show premieres. You don't want to miss it. It's a weekday. Take the time off. DVR it, record it, stream it, do whatever you got to do. Order FX now so that you're ready on the day of. Don't be a late piece of girl now. Don't be a late piece of girl. And have to and have to see all of the spoilers, my love. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Now I'm just gonna stand here like a good old reporter and make sure I get my uh interview with Miss India Moore. Look, very much this. India! Yes, God. How are you? I'm doing good. I got to get into the screen, but I love y'all so much. Thank you for being here. Shout out to Slay TV. Y'all is in. How do you take activism from social media to the real world? Um, Live unapologetically and continue doing everything that decolonizes your mind, body, and spirit. Uh. Slay with India Moore. We are ending the red carpet right now. Thank you so much for being here with us. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. You can still share this live, honey, because they still deserve to see what we saw. I'm Eddie Jarrell Jones here with Slay TV at the Post Season 2 Black Glitter Carpet, and we are here to slay all day.